your side this morning. Another hot day expected in the valley, as Eric just mentioned, and HVAC workers are expecting to be very, very busy over the next few days. 48th Megan Flock alive this morning and Megan, you're keeping them busy too, mm -hmm. interviewing them and also speaking from experience. You say your AC went out recently. Yeah, speaking to them and also getting help from them. My AC went out a couple weeks ago. Fortunately, now for this really, really terrible heat. It is working. It's right behind me. It was purring a few minutes ago, so that was just a little extra reinforcement that everything is okay, especially because the HVAC workers are going to be so busy these next few days. I spoke to the general manager at AirServe. He said just this past weekend, he saw a huge increase of calls for AC unit repairs. Usually they see two or three calls a weekend, but they saw about 30 last weekend. Huge difference. He says to keep the AC running, you're going to need regular maintenance checks, of course, but also here's a tip. Don't set your temperature too low. Some experts say keep it at 78. That's pretty hot for some of us. So others say just keep it in the 70s range. We haven't seen very many 80 degree plus days. Um, with this heat wave that's coming, we have most certainly noticed an influx of customer issues, people needing service, and we're anticipating it to get much worse. And, um, you know, we don't see it letting up for a while. So even if your AC unit doesn't break today, tomorrow, this really big heat, the kind of pounding it in and having those temperatures set really low can really punch, pack a punch on these AC units. And so the problems might not show up for a couple more days, but I promise you will notice if it does break, just stay vigilant and stay comfortable and safe out there. Reporting live from Huntsville, Megan Plotka, WAFF 48 on your side. All right, Megan, thank you. And as our WAFF 48 meteorologists have been saying, we're going to see some of the hottest temperatures of the year this week. That's why you should scan the code on your screen to download our 48 weather app. And using the app, you'll be able to stay up to date in the coming days. But if you can't scan your screen, don't worry. The app is available on all major app stores.